sepsis. Infection is the leading cause of newborn deaths. It can enter the baby during the birth process, come through on unclean umbilical cord or skin pustules. Infection can spread fast and affect the whole baby's body, leading quickly to death. This generalized infection is called sepsis. There can be multiple signs of sepsis and they can be subtle. Pay close attention to a mother's concerns. Babies with serious illness often do not have specific signs. This video will show how to evaluate and treat the baby with sepsis. Before checking the baby, wash your hands and the thermometer. As you take the baby's temperature, gather important background information. Has the mother herself been sick or has a fever? Did her waters break early? Did she have any problems with her labor or birth? Ask about key danger signs such as poor feeding, lethargy and convulsions. Has the baby had vomiting or diarrhea? The mother reports that he is very irritable and is not feeding as often as usual. The temperature is normal. Check the baby. Observe his irritability. His eyelids and hands are swollen. Check the baby from head to toe for other danger signs. Look for jaundice. Observe the chest for indrawing and fast breathing. See, the abdomen is very distended. Check the umbilicus and the skin. This baby has multiple signs that point to sepsis. Irritability, swelling, poor feeding, and abdominal distension. Here are examples of other babies with danger signs that point to sepsis. This baby is lethargic. He cannot be aroused, even with stimulation. This baby has a severe skin infection and poor feeding. Here is a baby with convulsions and lethargy. This baby is lethargic. He doesn't react to stimulation. He also has poor feeding. This baby has severe jaundice and lethargy. Discuss the baby's urgent condition with the mother and advise her to take the baby to a higher level facility. Before the baby leaves, give the first doses of antibiotics. The baby will need intramuscular injections of ampicillin and gentamicin. Notify the facility, write a referral note, and arrange transportation. Make sure the baby has breast or cup fit and is warm through skin-to-skin -skin contact throughout the trip. Every effort should be made to refer the baby. If referral is not possible, do your best to care for the baby in your clinic, though realize that this care is not the same. Treat the baby according to your national guidelines. The preferred regimen is IM gentamicin once daily for seven days, plus amoxicillin by mouth twice daily for seven days. Check the baby at each daily visit to be sure he's gradually improving. An alternative option is giving IM gentamicin once daily for just two days, plus amoxicillin by mouth twice daily for seven days. See the baby on day four to determine if he's improving. Advise the mother to give only breast milk every two to three hours and keep the baby warm. 
counsel her to return to the clinic immediately if the baby's condition worsens. Remember, signs of serious illness in a baby can be subtle. Know the key danger signs, breathing problems, lethargy, poor feeding, abnormal body temperature, jaundice, and convulsions. Take action and refer these babies urgently.